Okay, this is a video to show the uh, completion of the bypassing the baseboard hydronic heater. This was part of a project to put in this set of doors here. There used to be this eight foot section of um, thin hydronic heating, which was taken out and it's been bypassed by running a straight copper pipe underneath in the basement. Uh, so originally it went down into the basement at that point and that pipe was taken out. You can see it there. And this was at uh, this end, the hydronic, which normally took a right angle, was diverted into the basement at the same distance away from the wall as that hole went into the basement, roughly. Okay, not exactly, probably. Um, okay, so now what I'll do is I will show you in the basement the run that connects these. It's all been put together by the workmen, and I just wanted to show you the work. Okay, here's the eight-foot run of new copper pipe that runs from the point at which it was previously connected when it went into the basement and where the new connection down into the basement is. And I'll show you the two ends where this was done. Okay, this is the first end. Now this section of pipe was actually reused because this is the piece of pipe that was previously on the other end, which made the connection from the first floor down into the basement and to connect out to the hydronic heating. Uh, there was a slight modification needed. This did have to be cut slightly in length, and the reason is because if it had come out to the exact same length, it would have bumped into that water line. However, because this was an eight foot run, this pipe could be put at a small angle and still fit fine into the joint at that point. So the new joint that had to be put in was at this point, and this point, this had to be a new pipe. From this point on, it was the existing pipe. This connection here was actually soldered horizontally flat outside before putting in because it didn't have to be in this position. You'd want to avoid soldering that location if you could get away with it, simply because it's relatively inaccessible. Okay. Now, with the joints that had to be done in place, number one was this joint on this one. Okay, that was a new joint. Um, and that was re uh, reusing the existing elbow and the reason because that elbow was actually part of this other assembly. So rather than remove it, it was simply to reuse it. So on this particular case, that was, re was reused. Whereas in this case, that was actually a new fitting. The reason is previous fitting that had to be cut anyway and once it was taken apart it's easier to use a new fitting than to try to reuse the old fitting because you have to do have to remove the solder from the inside you have to be careful that it doesn't get dented okay um, and when doing this soldering so this would have been one of the first joints to be soldered in position and this had to be supported underneath with a wooden block while this is being done uh, just to hold it in place. Although for this particular soldering joint that wouldn't be so critical. Um, actually it would because it wasn't soldered up, up above and that would have actually fallen through the whole thing would have rotated. So yes there was a temporary support placed here when that was done. Okay uh, so now let's move to the second fitting. Now at this fitting, I, sh I should mention, this this 8-foot pipe cost about $27. It was available only in a 10-foot length, even though only 8-foot was needed, but it might have been slightly more than 8 feet, so the 8-foot was not available. $27 is what this project cost, plus... Now in this case, this fit fitting that was used here is one that has a drain. The reason for this is partially twofold. One is that when this is soldered, this drain is open so that any residual moisture in this line, even though this line is completely drained out, that doesn't mean that it won't be wet inside. It will be wet. And for that reason, when you solder this, the moisture inside is a potential problem. And that is solved by simply taking this fitting off. Any steam can come right out of that fitting. 
The other reason is once this is put in place, and this, if there's any further rework at this location, which there is apt to be because the remodeling project is not completed, and the final configuration of the heating may not be in place, um, this can be drained out. So for this to be removed and desoldered, this could be taken off and it could be unsoldered rather than to have to cut the pipe and then take it apart in pieces. So that's kind of twofold there, okay? Um, this is a horizontal joint. It was relatively easy to solder in this position. Okay, so let me now move to the upstairs. Okay, here's the last um, fitting or soldered joint that needed to be completed at this location. In this case, the original had a copper elbow. It's been replaced by a fitting once again. I guess it's brass. Um, with a valve on it, and the, the purpose of this is twofold. Uh, once, as the last fitting, the system is now completely closed, and it does provide a vent for the soldering, any steam inside. This could also have water in it because it wouldn't necessarily all run out. Second is that this will be available to bleed the hydronic system at this point. Now this isn't, every time that this uh, hydronic comes out of the basement up to the first floor, there's gonna be a high point in zone one. And this isn't the only high point in zone one. In other words, there are plenty of other rooms that will have baseboard units that just have the original copper fitting. That's quite common in houses not to have these uh, points to bleed the system of air. But in this case, um, I went ahead and put, had these put in, okay? And um, this system has been blood of air and this it was not necessary to do anything here. But in the future, if there were a problem, uh, in the winter in the heating system uh, with the zone one before it, uh, completely purging the entire zone of air I would try removing this to see if any air might come out at that particular point okay this is $15 compared with the copper fitting which was only about two dollars so it, it, it is a, make a, an investment now this last fitting is the last soldered connection here is a vertical joint and it has to creep up so this is and it's also right up against the wall which is blind so this is the one where when you see plumbers do this job they're more apt to use an abundance of solder in the back side here and you're likely to see the, the solder running down on the back of the pipe because if they only feed it in at the front they can't actually observe the joint in the back the solder has to be sucked up by capillary action. There was a possibility that it didn't get around to the back and they didn't quite see it. So you can inspect this with a little dental mirror, but to be safe, an abundance of solder at this particular point, okay, it's not a bad idea. Okay, so that's it for this unit. It uh, has been tested, there are no leaks and it's been working fine for several days. So that's all here.